Introduction to Pythagoras. So Pythagoras deals with right-angled triangles specifically. So let's draw up a right-angled triangle. There exists such a triangle where this side is three units long, this one's four, and this one's five. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put squares on each of the sides. So let's put a square here. So if it's a square, that means this is three, three, and three as well. Let's put a square here. which means that this is four, four, and four. And let's put a square on this side, which means this one's five, five, and five. Let's find the area of each of these squares. The area of this square is three times three, which is nine. The area of this one is four times four, which is 16. And the area of this one is five, times 5, which is 25. Do you notice anything about these areas? If you look closely, well, 25 actually equals 9 plus 16. So we could write that 9 plus 16 is 25. And this is actually Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem states that, so let's just draw another right angle triangle and just generalize it, where if this side was A, B, and C, saying if we take, so that's this side squared equals this side squared plus this side squared. That's what Pythagoras' theorem is. So we could write this as c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now we have to give a special name to the side here because this is the longest side and this is the one over here. And we call this side the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the side always opposite the right angle. So let's have a look at how we can use this. So in a right angle triangle, we have to know that the side opposite the right angle is always called the hypotenuse. And in this triangle, we want to know if it is right angled because Pythagoras theorem only works if the triangle is right angle. Let's have a look at this one. So we've got 5 metres, 8 metres, and 10 metres. Is this a right angle triangle? If it is, Pythagoras' theorem will hold true. And Pythagoras' theorem is the longer side, or the hypotenuse, squared, equals the other two sides squared and added together. 10 squared is 100, 5 squared is 25, and 8 squared is 64. Remember, squared means a number times itself. Does 100 equal 25 plus 64? Well, that's 89, and that's not true. So the triangle is not right-angled, because Pythagoras' theorem does not hold true. Okay.